Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. Hello, everybody. Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Maker Sports Network, alongside with me today, of course, is Mr. Lamont Thomas. And we're here doing something new here at the Legacy Maker Sports Network where we're previewing some of the teams that we covered throughout the year. And today we're covering the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team today. Lamont, you had an opportunity to sit down with Coach Russell and Alex Parson and Jade Hines Clark. Can you tell us a little bit about what you talked about today? Yeah, so uh, first we talked a little bit about the new faces here. Um, Coach Aaron Russell comes highly recommended from a Bucknell um, program who he has a winning culture and he's looking to establish that here at the University of Richmond. Uh, he talked about changing their attitude, changing their approach to the game and changing what the coaches demand from the players to get the best out of them. And, and they're on board. They're ready to go. And um, they're looking at the start of a, a a promising season here. Now, last year this team went nine and twenty-one on the season. They went six and ten in the eight, ten, eleven seed. You know, a little bit of a tough goal. Step back from the year before then, but this time around, this Spiders team is looking to take an extra leap and an eight, ten. That I'm not going to say is wide open, but there's a lot of room uh, to make moves here in the Atlantic Ten. I'm Darrell Lawrence. This is Lamont Thomas. We're going to send you now to the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team interviews. What's going on, everybody? Legacy Maker Sports, Lamont Thomas here. I'm here with the new head coach of the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team, Coach uh, Aaron Russell. How you doing? I'm doing well. Lamont. Good. Very good. happy to be here. We're, we're glad to see you here in uh, in Richmond. And uh, um, it may be football season now, but it's grind <laughs> time in basketball. That's for sure. So uh, we just wanted to get you here and get our get our preseason view of uh, of the Spiders women's team. So uh, first question for you: You come over from Bucknell, um, two time Patriot uh, League Coach of the Year. Um, what do you see in this uh, talent, in this group of uh, young women here at Richmond? Yeah, a lot of excitement. I think excitement for us as coaches getting uh, to work with this group. Um, but I think more so just excitement from the team. You know, I think they're very eager. You know, I don't think any of us are happy with, with looking at it. maybe the record that, that most of these guys have had over their careers. So I think they're excited to hopefully put the work in um, and, and kind of change their legacy. Uh, to a certain extent, and, and I think they've been on the, the right path here. I think there's some things that maybe a little bit, a little bit eye opening for them as far as our demands, our expectations, uh, but they've really jumped on board and uh, I think really welcomed our staff with welcome arms, which uh, has been very nice for us as a staff. Absolutely. What are some of the challenges in uh, getting the best out of this uh, young group and for all of you getting the best out of each other as as new to yeah, you know, to each I, other. I think for me and for our staff, you know, there's been a certain style of play that that we've had. And when you're at a place for seven years, you're recruiting to that style. And you know, I think we have some very capable basketball players, but they were recruited to play a different style, quite honestly. And and some of the things that that we're prioritizing is different than what the uh, previous staff is prioritizing. So I think a little bit there of you know, we've asked them to kind of step out of their comfort zones and some of their strengths. You know, we'll get to those strengths. We'll make sure as a staff that we're uh, taking advantage of, of their advantages, uh, but there has to be a little bit of a bend from both sides. You know, right. They have to understand what we're expecting, our style of play, and uh, I think that part's been good, but there's always growing pains with that as well. Absolutely, absolutely. You come over from Bucknell at home the past four years, I believe, you were 102, 102 wins, 30 losses at home. What is the key to establishing a culture at home? For a basketball team. Yeah, I think for, for us, and I don't think it's any different in the Patriot League than what is in the A-10, and, and to be honest with you, probably every conference across the, the country, you, you got to win at home. You right. Know, you win it. The successful teams win at home, and then you go on the road and, and hopefully make your mark there. I think for us, it really started not just game day and game night. You know, it was, it was building... Uh, a fan base, which helps uh, with the home court advantage, but really it was just how we went about our daily business. You know, it, in practice, it, this gym's not going to be left dirty when we're done here. So it's really taking a lot of pride in, in our home court. You know, it, it goes like I said, as far as making sure this is clean, making sure that we love this place, that we're spending time here. There's a real sense of pride in those Bucknell kids of what Soika of Pavilion made or meant. To right, them. absolutely. And I think that's something that we're looking forward to establishing here at the Robin Center. Okay. And last question. Um, Legacy Maker Sports is our name. It's our brand. We love to ask the legacy question. So um, I'm going to have you finish the sentence for me. When, when your time is done at University of Richmond, people will say, Coach uh, Aaron Roussel, uh, when he's 
he was the type of coach that. Yeah, well, first off, pretty good that I dropped the legacy line earlier, right? It wasn't even <laughs> it was completely. It, it, I, it was I worked perfect. that you in there a right little in. bit. Um, no, I think every time that as a coach and hopefully the same as a player, you you want to leave a place better than it was when you got there. And For sure. With all due respect, because I think, again, when you look at new staff coming in, it doesn't mean somebody else is doing something wrong. You know, I think Coach Schaefer did a great job and, and had a great legacy here. Um, you know, we just prioritize different things. So right. I, I think for us, you know, hopefully people can say that we did some things, you know, and, and carried down the tradition, but also did some things better and left the program better than it was when, when, when you got here. Absolutely. We appreciate having you here. Um, we appreciate your time. Absolutely. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the sidelines. Good luck this year. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate it. I appreciate it. Look right. forward to having you guys here. Legacy Maker Sports, Lamont Thomas. I'm here uh, with the University of Richmond women's basketball team. We got Alex Parson uh, in her junior year. Jade Hines Clark is a senior. And um, I was talking to Coach earlier. Uh, I know it's football season, but it's, it's grind time and basketball season, right? We're, we're looking at the home stretch when the season's about to start. So, um, first, I just want to ask you guys about some off the court stuff first. Um, so, you just got an award. Um, how do you feel about that? And uh, how does it feel to be recognized for, you know, building relationships in the community of Richmond? I, I think it's definitely special. I think coming into the University of Richmond, I knew that my status as an athlete makes me an athlete, but I also felt really passionately about getting involved in the community because um, the University of Richmond, we are a small campus, but there's so much the city of Richmond has to offer. Um, so I think making the way that I've been able to make this my home and make it feel like home was getting involved and kind of immersing myself in the community rather than just staying closed and closeted on campus. Absolutely. And we, we do appreciate everything you do. It was really nice to see. Thank you. you we've seen you develop your role here. Um, as a freshman, you know, you came in, you kind of had some legacy going on with your, your sister playing mm -hmm. here before you. Um, and last year, we really saw you come into your own as being a leader on the court. Um, you got some new faces around this mm -hmm. time, this go around. What do you feel is going to be your role or how do you feel uh, your role is going to change or at least what is it going to come into this year with, with this, this team? I think uh, my role this year is just to uh, keep being a team player, making sure that uh, we're doing what we need to do on the court, um, keep pushing, keep growing as a player and a person, and make sure those around me are just doing the same thing as well, just making sure that they stay healthy, that they uh, are getting in the gym or doing the little things that we do every single day to keep us together and keep us playing hard out here. Okay, absolutely. And this next question is going to be for both of you. Um, so, you know, co the college experience by itself is a, is a whole nother realm, but, you know, you guys get it from a different perspective being student athletes. I just wanted to ask how your involvement on the basketball team and being participants of the basketball team, how that has shaped your experience here at the University of Richmond? I definitely think, I was just talking with um, Cassie Price, who's over in the Jefferson School, um, earlier today about what it means to be a Richmond Spider. Um, and I think, you know, being a student athlete has its pros and cons. I mean, we work so hard. We also have classes that we have to go to. We have to take care of our mental health. So there's a lot of things that we're trying to navigate. But at the same time, I think it's empowering to be a student athlete at any university. Um, and definitely as a Richmond Spider, like now that I'm a senior, being able to see my role models who are doing incredible things that, now that they've already graduated from Richmond, but being able to be a part of the legacy that is Richmond women's basketball. Um, and last year was our 100th year of women's basketball. So I think it continuously um, is just kind of inspiring to be a women's basketball athlete, a uh, student athlete in general, just because of all the people who made it possible before you um, and then also being able to make your mark as well. Okay. That, that's a good answer. A hundred, uh, <laughs> so you said the 100th? Yeah, last year was the 100th year. year I did not know that. Yeah. That is really good. Are you going to top that answer? I don't know if I can I'm top just, it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, as you said, this is really a grind every single day. And I think uh, at the end of the day, when we're done being athletes doing this every day, it just makes us more prepared and stronger for the real world after college. So. And last question. Um, again, our, our brand is Legacy Maker Sports. We asked Coach, we're going to ask you guys about your legacy here you know, at the University of Richmond. When it's all said and done, I'm going to have you guys fill in the, the answer for me. So when it's all said and done, Jade Hines Clark, they'll say that you are the type of person and player that... I think when it's all said and done, uh, I will be the player that 
cared about her teammates, um, cared about herself, and cared about the Richmond community as a whole. Um, I think, like I said before, like there are so many people who have been in this program before me and being able to look up to them. And so hopefully um, when I graduate and some years after that, I'll be able to give somebody else that same role model, uh, be that role model for somebody else to look up to. Um, but I absolutely love all my teammates. And I think that, you know, as a leader and, you know, also navigating like my own leadership style and being able to grow with this team, I think that's one of the things that I'll be remembered for. Nice. How will your, will your legacy be embedded in the culture of, of the University of Richmond? Um, when it's all said and done, uh, I guess I would be the one that uh, persisted. persisted. Um, you know, I think every day is a grind, and I'm just continuing to grow, learn, and keep pushing every day. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you guys um, for having us here. Preseason. I know you guys are about to about to get started. About to get some working. Um, yeah, yes. for sure, <laughs> for sure. Um, well, good luck to you, and uh, we'll we'll be here. Um, we'll be glad to see you guys on the court this year. Thanks. Thank All you. right. Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network.